Hi folks, this is Lauren from Fast Office Computer Training. Uh, this is a short video on how to select cells. To start, I just wanted to point out the different cursor icons that you will see on the screen as you're selecting cells. This is the select cell cursor, this is the move cursor, and this is the autofill cursor. For this video, we're only going to talk about selecting cells, so I'm going to use the select cursor. That's a big white plus sign. We'll also talk about this cursor, which is the down arrow selecting a column cursor, which you only see when you're in the column headings, and also the row select and selection cursor. All right? So, to start, obviously, click and drag is the easiest and most commonly known way of selecting cells. You can click and drag below your screen and it will continue that selection um, as far as you go. <clears throat> Easy peasy. The next is uh, just extending your selection. All I did here is I, instead of clicking and dragging, I select where I want to start the selection and then I hold down the shift key and click where I want to end the selection. All right. Um, this is uh, I mean, this is I use this method if I'm if I'm going down below my screen and not sure why it's okay and that way it it will it makes it easier to select instead of clicking and dragging below. All right. Um, the other way of doing this is holding down the control key. If I wanted to select multiple cells that are not next to each other, they don't have to be the same shape or size, um, but I, I can just select multiple cells by first selecting the, the first group of cells and then selecting the, the rest of the cells by holding down the control key. Um, the re why would I want to do this? Maybe I want to just apply bulk, you know, formatting to all of those cells. Um, in this case, I could I could uh, highlight the different columns. I may even want to just add the same information to all of those cells. So if I wanted to add the same information after I finish selecting, just don't click anywhere. Just just l let go of your mouse and um, hold down the control key. I'll type in the information, hold down the control key, and press enter. And there you go, that all that, that information is the same in all of those cells. All right? You can also delete the same information uh, just by pressing the delete key. Um, where you're going to use this, one place where you're going to be using this is if you're creating charts, you might want to chart. Um, select a set of labels and then a um, one set of data to create, for example, a pie chart. All right. So that's selecting cells. Um, the other thing that we can do is select columns. You can select one column at a time. You can click and drag. Um, you can use the shift key to extend your selection and you can also use the control key to choose different options. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just a, a note about this, if you want um, cells that are next to each other, um, Excel behaves differently if you use the control key. In this case, I'm just using the control key to select those cells, and in this case, I'm going to use the shift key. So be, Excel behaves differently based on how you select those cells, those um, columns. And the same goes for rows. You can select multiple rows in exactly the same way as you can select columns. All right. So that's just uh, selecting cells. And we will um, talk about other things um, in other videos. All right. Um, so here I go, awkwardly closing this video. Cheers. If you have any questions, you can contact me at Lauren at Fast Office Training. Dot com. That's L-O-R-I-N at fastofficetraining.com. Cheers.